Hello guys and welcome back to the bench and today we're going to continue my quest to try as many of these clear colors as I can. Uh, today we're going over uh, Dispay and uh, I forgot I actually had these in my collection. Uh, I saw them when I did the uh, color shift test by them uh, which were pretty good actually, really nice paints. Um, these are a really good value, these are 18 millimeter, milliliter and they fill it right to the top. I see, it's probably even more than that. And they're pretty well blended. You can see, these, this one's been sitting here, but you can see the paint right through the glass. So there's very uh, little pigment settling. So these are really, really nice. Um, I think they're nice in the quick test that I did, and that's when I decided uh, we're gonna go ahead and test these. Now, I'm not just testing these for the hell of it. I do wanna test all of the clear colors out there. Um, here's some from Moto. I have more coming in. We'll be testing these. That's E7. I have a set of E7s. Come look at the size of this jar. Wow. Yeah, these are like nine bucks, but the smaller jars, like the Gaia size, are uh, like five bucks. I don't think I don't think when I ordered this, I realized it was uh, this big. But it's a sky blue, um, which is a rare color, and it's you usually just get blue, not a light or a dark blue. So I really wanted to test that. And I have a set of Gaias that are due in, but in the meantime. Check this out, fluorescent. These are clear fluorescents from uh, Gaia, Gaia Notes. And here's their clear brown, which makes a really nice golden chrome. Anyway, that's uh, some of the clairs we'll be going over. There's actually even more than that, but uh, that'll be in the future. For now, we're gonna go over the display clairs. Now, before I begin, I wanna congratulate the winners of my Gundam giveaway, American Type. And uh, the winners was Josh Howell, Derek Hernandez and Steve Bennett and um, congratulations guys you should all have your kits by now I sent them out as fast as I could enjoy them and uh, send me pics and let me know uh, when you build them I like to see how they come out and um, I understand uh, Steve likes uh, metal like I do a uh, fellow metalhead is always uh, good in my book <clears throat> and he says I think he likes Slayer and uh, I mentioned uh, to his significant other to tell him about Suicide Angels, a great thrash band, definitely influenced by Slayer, but uh, I digress. <laughs> Enough with my music, you can tell I love it. I can go off on a rant on uh, metal at any given time. But anyway, uh, we are going to test these over several different bases. Um, I'm going to shoot three of these on camera, and, and some I'll do off camera. And uh, I might only do a few at a time. So we can get this video going. I can show you the results. We're going to go with some chrome spoons. I got these at Walmart. And we are also, hold on guys, I'm going to stand up for this. We're going to go over different bases. And I sprayed some already with, uh, this is T TS-100, bright gun metal. This is TS-76, Tamiya. Uh, what is this? Mika Silva, Mika Silva. Really nice. Look at that. Check this out. This is going to be unique. A Gaia Starbright Brass. Look at this. Now that should give us some results, huh? And I sprayed some Gumpla pieces too. So we'll see what that looks like. I got them all labeled so I'll know the base when I'm done. Check out this beautiful primer from, uh, speaking of Gaia, the Evo Surfacer. Surfacer. Um, this is GS10. Look at this. It's gunmetal. I mean, it comes out flat, you know, because it's a it's a uh, it's a primer. But I prepped some pieces so we can see what this is going to look like. Look how nice this thing goes on. This is a beautiful, nice big jar um, of primer. They have all unique colors. I also have this here sky blue primer. Look at that. So they have really unique colors in primer, and we know. From all my tests that the base of the paint changes everything all right i'm going to try it over some chrome paint gaia again this is premium mirror chrome all right i painted a piece with it look how nice and this spoon came out really nice all right next up this is gloss aluminum this is from this is ts17 tamia with the logo there we go now i painted a piece with this and I painted this clear piece of plastic on the back. I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna see how it works when I spray it over a clear piece. I tried doing a spoon, 
in the back. But whenever I airbrush in here, it the paint kind of shoots back and it uh, hits the camera. It makes a mess because of the curve. So um, I tried it with this flat piece. So we'll try one of these random colors and see how it works with that effect. I figured maybe the clear eyes on a Gumpla, you know, from the back. Hold on. Let's get my guy here. Um, I get the shield off. See the eyes? And uh, a lot of them have a sticker, but a lot of them are clear. And I'm thinking maybe if you can spray this in the back and put a nice clear in the front, um, we can get a nice effect in that eyes. Not much so much for these real grades, but on a master grade or even a perfect, you can, um, it'll be much bigger where we can notice, uh, we can notice that. And even uh, maybe some clear over a lens piece for the gun, paint some silver down and then put some clear over it. So it will get some uses uh, as far as Gumpla goes. Let me get him back on the shelf. All right, let me show you a couple more colors and we'll get to spraying. All right, I had somebody ask it to spraying the yellow or the orange or the yellow or the red over tan. So uh, I took this uh, sand brown color from uh, Mr. Color, number 19, and uh, lay down on a piece and a couple of these. We'll put all three of these colors and see how dramatically uh, the change is on that. Right here is E7. Is this E7's chrome? Yes, E7's shine chrome. This is over just a straight black plastic spoon, so we got more of a, a dull uh, stainless steel look here. And here it is over gloss black. Really not that much shinier. However, I probably should have went ahead and did this. It comes with its own sealer, which I've tested this on all clad, and it's phenomenal. So. Um, I will do that when I do the full test on this chrome, but uh, for now, we're going to go with just a straight piece like this over glossy black, all right? And the gloss black I used was Tamiya spray cans. All right, one more to show you guys. All clad, the standard chrome, the one that started it all for me. And uh, look how good. It's still one of the best. Look at that chrome. You can see me back here waving. And I did it on this uh, piece too, this half a foot. So we'll see uh, how that works. And that's it. We'll, uh, we'll prep these babies out and we'll spray them in the, at the air booth. Now here we got a Badger 105 Patriot. This is the gun we're gonna be using for these. I like to use my Patriots, my larger needles when I spray clears. Um, just a habit I got into clairs and primers and metallics. I use a larger needle. Um, but we're going to start with the red and I'm going to show you guys how to blend it. Now, like I said, I mixed these already off screen and they really didn't need uh, much blending, to tell you the truth. I'm using my brand new paint mixer. You can see that thing buzzing away. You can flip it over, go the other route. But that should be stirred up. That's all it needs, about 10, 15 seconds. Now, I recommend this base thinner. I really like this stuff. It's benzene-free. Um, I don't even quite know if this was 10 or 11 bucks. Look how much you get. And some of these, like uh, Vallejo, they give you these tiny bottles of thinner. I mean, all the way up, but uh, for six, eight bucks, they give you these little bottles. Look at this one. And anyway, it's good. It works really well with their uh, their paint. So I do recommend it. We're going to blend these at a 50-50 ratio. Half and half paint, half and half thinner. All right. Now, get this on camera here. I'm just going to guess how much I need to uh, paint the spoons we have and the pieces. You know, I'm going to show you how we scrape the bottom. See it? It's perfect. It looks like it's regular red at this point, doesn't it? But there's no sediment on the bottom. There's no pigments. It's just perfect. So I'm going to let... Put your stick against the glass and pour her in. You just want to cover the bottom of the cup a little bit. I don't even mind using quite a bit of this. There's so much in the jar. Always wipe your jars, guys, at the end. Wipe the jar. Keep a paper towel always handy. you got to wipe the top so uh, it creates a good seal. Once it starts to dry on the lid, it creates an air gap and the air starts to get in and that's when you start to you notice your paint start going down um, there it is it looks like I said like solid paint believe it or not but it actually isn't 
So let's go ahead and thin this. Now I do it by eye because I've been doing this for a long time. And personally, you guys, you could probably do it by eye or yourselves. You'll know when, when you got it down. I got this little tiny eyedropper. We'll go with this about at least three shots. That should do it. As I said, I've got it down to a science, and I think after you airbrush as much as I have, you start to get it down too. But don't fear if it's too thin. I just don't like to go too thin with my clears because uh, it really starts to seep, seek its way to little crevices and corners, and you, you don't get a full coverage with these clears when it's too thin. But being a lacquer, you can thin this stuff right out. So I'm dragging it on the top, I mean on the side of the cup. See it? And it's still leaving pigments behind which is a perfect see it runs down and it's perfect this is that skim milk texture you want and that's it so we're gonna do the yellow the green and the red and um, let's head over to the booth and we'll start the test I'll only do a few of these on screen I'll paint the rest off so we can spend more time going over the colors anyway guys we'll see you at the booth all right, guys, here we are back at the booth. Hope you can hear me. I got the fan on low. Red is loaded up, clear red. And we'll start with chrome. Well, chrome spoon, I have other chrome to go. Here we go, you can see me in the video. Okay, you see it's like a peach fuzz there, like an orange peel. It's how it goes on, you know. Literally, watch this, guys. The second coat, it gets its deepness. And then the third coat, go a little slower. And it evens itself right out. Like a mirror. Look at that. Of course, you can keep going to get the shade. But I'll go with two coats there. Leave it right in the middle. Oh, that's beautiful. That is nice. All right. Here we go. This is over the Mica Silver. Tamiya. You can see it here. How speckly it goes on at first. But it really goes on nice on its final coat. Look at that. Whoa, there we go. That's candy red. Uh, the airbrush, uh, the airbrush, the air pressure is set for uh, 15 PSI. I fill this up as I go along. I don't like it too much to the top, and I don't, because I don't put the lid on, because I'm always I'm topping it off. Let's go on clear. Let's see what we got. You're going to get the runs in the corner. It's going to go in the highlights because there's nothing to really grip the paint really well when it comes to crevices and stuff. It really does need something to go over. But at least we get to see how it looks over clear. Now just go over it slow. There you go. Wow, that is... Look, at you can see through it. That is awesome. That's awesome. I got to say, guys... This stuff goes on really good. It's pretty forgiving. This is that star brass. Now when doing pieces like this, show the corners and you really, I mean it's tough for me being in behind the camera and doing this. You know, um, off camera I would be, uh, you know, just barely you know, like basting it all the way in the little corners and stuff. So, these pieces are a little trickier. And I would actually have the whole leg assembled, you know, when I did this, so I can go all the way around. We'll let that sit for a second. Let's see how it looks over this piece overall, this star, star bright brass. It's probably gonna come out orangey, I'm guessing. Ready? It's kind of a yellow gold brass. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that is nice. Wow. 
That is beautiful. All right, top it off again. I'm not going to try and get every corner because it's tricky from filming it. And uh, if it doesn't go inside, I'm going to panel line that part anyway. See it? Wow, that came out beautiful. That came out nice. All right, let's try it over this leather colored tan. Like spraying it over primer. Oh, here it is. It's coming in now. This will be interesting when I put the yellow over it. Oh, that's like a pure red. Look at that. Very nice. I didn't expect that. All right, guys. Here we go. This is over that uh, gunmetal primer from uh, Gaia. Now, being a matte primer, this should hold the paint really well. I can't get every crevice here for the video. I'm trying. This is one I should have did off camera, but eh. We get to see it be created here. Yeah, this is getting into a more maroon color because of... Looks like we painted the filter behind us. Oh yeah, there we go. Looking really good. Really good. All right. All right, let's top this off again. I don't want to run out at the end here, guys. I'm not going to show every piece from here on in. I just figured I'd do one. All right. This is overall clad. This stuff is hard to give a light coat because you're going to get the speckles effect that I showed you. It really does need the final coat. So you're not going to get that anodized metal look that I love so much. However, really, really nice. Good for a, uh, I guess a Sazabi. Wow, look at that. It, it, it really stuck to it good. It likes the all-clad chrome. Wow, that's great. All right, guys, one more experiment before we move on. Hold on, guys, I gotta put this piece away off camera here. There we go. I took this clear spoon and I sprayed silver in the back. See it? I'm not quite sure whose silver this is. This is a matte silver for sure. See it? But I wanna see what it did through the front, the glossy pot through the clear plastic. I used these spoons from Walmart. See it? And that's what I started with. And I just sprayed the back of it with silver. So let's see what happens over the front. Came out a little splotchy, but uh, I don't know why. It must have been the paint. But this is the effect you can use for the eyes and the Gundam kits. And there it is. It actually looks pretty good. Oh, let me get that in the drying area. All right, guys, that's it for that color. Let me clear out the brush, and we'll move on to the next color. All right, guys, here we go. This is horrendous packaging. That's what this is. This is clear green. Wow, that's terrible packaging. All right, let's go over the chrome spoon first. You're going to notice this one faster because it's a darker color to start with. I said go over it quick with a few, get your base on there right away, and you can just go in with these uh, lacquers and just go right in. And 
There you go. And that is nice. It's actually brighter here uh, than you guys can see on camera, believe it or not. All right, let's put that out of the way. All right, let's try this over the Mica Silva. Silver, Silva, showing that uh, New England Italian accent off there. There we go. There we go. Here we go. The big test over the Gaia Starbright Brass. is that <laughs> this looks good now this looks good that is awesome I'll stop right there that is perfect all right let's try something wacky over this uh, leather tan colored uh, spoon here pretty much like going over a primer as I said so we're not going to get that true candy look. I'm curious all the different bases. Not bad. That's a dark green. Completely different from what we're doing. All right. What do we have here? Gunmetal from uh, Tamiya. This is going to be pretty dark right here. Yep. How is that? That's a good one for my Dynamis. Wow, that's awesome. All right, let's try it over. Piece of plastic. As I said, the back is sprayed with silver. The front is nothing but clear plastic. orange peel look there for some reason on this plastic. Trying to give it a wet look. Not bad. Not bad. How about this? We'll go over the regular spoon with it. The regular clear spoon. See what we get. this off before we're out. There you go. Very nice. Really nice. All right, what do we have here? This is Evo gunmetal, all right? This is that primer. Well, that covered quick. It sticks it as good because it's a primer, you know? Wow, that is nice. That's nice. All right, guys. Let me clean out the brush. We'll move on to uh, what I got left, the yellow, and we'll see what we get. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna load up with some yellow. We will start with the chrome. Ooh, this goes on really quick. All right, let's go in for the final. Oh, nice. Wow, this is bright. Oh, yeah. I like this one. Look at that, guys. Oh, we got a winner here. We have a winner. I like this one. 
All right. This is the Mika Silver from Tamiya. I don't think this one's going to disappoint. I, I just like this color. This tone of yellow is really nice. Let's try it over something different here. Try it over the star brass. Here we go. This is awesome. Let's try it on a piece with the same stuff. That's how it will make a kit look. I think it looks a little better on this piece because it's not as uh, metal flaky. Is that a word? And a nice light coat of it seems to go a long way on this color too. Believe it or not, even though it's yellow. Yeah, this will make for a good kit. Particularly the ones that are gold plated that looks way better than the traditional gold plating all right here we go this is over the moto gun metal primer I don't know what I'm gonna get with this but let's find out it. That is a look in and of itself. I'll say that right now. I'm probably not going to get every angle here, that's for sure. It's tough to get the way I have it clipped down. But that is nice. Excellent. Let's try it over some all-clad chrome. And I'll spray the rest after this off camera, and I'll meet you back at the bench. Here we go. looks great. It's got its own look. Much darker. Almost like I sprayed it over black chrome. See it? It does bring out the look that it does when you put clear over chrome. It does do that. That's awesome. You know what? I was going, let's do one more on camera. Let's do this sand color beige. Oh, look at this. Check this out, guys. It's just bringing out like a pure yellow out of the clear. That went quick. Look at that. Really nice effect. Wow, that's awesome. All right, guys. I'll turn this off. I'll meet you back at the bench. We'll go over the results. I did all the all seven colors. All right, guys. Here we are back at the bench. And... Um, Let's go over the colors. Now, I made a little bit of a mistake. I forgot to tell you the colors that they come in. Obviously, the clear yellow, red, green, and off camera, I did. Uh, this is clear purple. Their packaging is awful. Uh, if you can see, the, there it is, purple. The packaging is really poor. they got to fix this. This is clear purple, clear orange. That one we can read, obviously. This is clear blue and clear black. So that's the full lineup. They have seven colors. But um, let's go ahead and we're going to test one more thing. Let's do the green because that's a good color for camera. I want to see how they brush on. I'm curious. Let's try it. See, it's tough because the um, you're just going to get brush strokes in a clear paint no matter what you do. It's just going to happen, you know. I mean, you could probably... No, nah, you're not going to be able to. 
and it dries really quick too. Now this would be good for smaller pieces, like if you want to do the back of a tail light. Then you build it up like I used to when I built my cars. A lot of my new ones have actually have come through with uh, the colors are now dyed into the plastic. You know, you're getting red, clear, orange. For the price of these kits, they might as well be doing that. But the taillights are now pre-colored most of the time. But through the clear lens, see, that wouldn't be too bad. I mean, you're going to get the brush strokes. You're going to have to go, I think you're going to have to go multiple layers if you're going to brush this. But this stuff is definitely meant for uh, airbrushing. Sorry if there's any bad reflection there. So, not bad, not bad. A couple of layers, I think, and you can get rid of these brush strokes. Really bad on the white, but not so bad on the chrome, or even through the clear plastic. So, let's get this out of the way. Let me put this brush in some thinner. Well, there it is. I wanted to try brushing it on and see what I got. And that's what I got. Anyway, let's go ahead and look at some of these colors. I have orange sitting next to me right here so let's go ahead and look at orange this is it over a chrome spoon Move this up there we go how nice is that all right let's check some of these other colors out I did a lot of them over the same colors this is over uh, silver I think this is mr. color silver I haven't had a spoon when I was testing them ready to go so you can see the different textures right there really bright this is it over that tan that sand colored tan hold on there we go that's the base for that now it just really didn't really come out I don't know what that is it's not candy anymore it did cover it nice all right this is it over the star bright brass almost like the silver no uh, almost in person they're not quite as close, but they are pretty close. This is over the Mika Silver, Mica Silver from uh, Tamiya, the spray can. Again, I'm sitting this side of the camera, so I always favor that side. Really nice over the silver from Tamiya. Let's try a different one altogether. This is over the gunmetal. Now that's dark. Look at that. That's I mean that's completely different. Now I also did this light gun metal from Tamiya on this piece. Now look at that. See if I can uh, put it on a hook here, on a clip so I can hold it up to the camera better. Look at that. That's nice, huh? Be even nicer if I did an all clad on that. But you're going to get a, a pearlized look. It doesn't matter what we do. You, you're just going to get that look. If it's anything other than chrome. Really nice though. This is it over the clear. I sprayed some of these plastic pieces off camera till I got the spoons. I couldn't find the, the box for the spoons. Look at that. Hey, look, dirt. I got paint on my fingers. I'm usually better than that. Um, let's see if I can put something behind it. I wanna put something behind it. Hold on guys, one second. I'm gonna put uh, like a paper towel or something behind it so you guys can. There you go, see it? So it did cover it really nice, the, the, the plastic. Smooth, both sides, yep, even the painted side is nice. That's it. So that's over clear. What's this over? The star, this is over the brass, the bright brass. Look at that. That is really nice. And this is over the Gaia Evo. This is the surfacer, the gunmetal surfacer, and this is gunmetal from Tamiya. Oh, yeah, they're, they're kind of different. They're kind of different. But there you go. That is orange. Let's get that out of the way. And move on. What did I do next? I did blue. Here is the blue of a chrome. How nice is that? That is a nice blue. Fantastic blue. And I did it also on the butter knife here. Because I was practicing. Look how nice this stuff coats. I mean, that's impressive. Look at that. That's impressive. This stuff goes on really, really good. I can't say anything bad about it. This is over the Mica Silver from uh, Silver from Tamiya. You see the difference right there? That is beautiful. Is that beautiful? 
uh, I don't know what this is over. This was over a matte aluminum I, I was testing it on, but you can see it comes out much duller. In person, it really has no shine to it at all. This is over the gunmetal primer. Much darker, not as bright because the primer isn't shiny. This is over that star bright brass. Now that's different. I knew it was going to come out green because it was going over a, almost a yellow. Check this out. This is one of the chrome pieces, like an all clad or the uh, Gaia chrome. Look at how nice this looks. This is awesome. I'm going to paint one of my uh, custom goose in this color. Wow, that's gorgeous. And here it is on the clear. This is where I found my clear spoons at this point. Look at how nice this is. Hold on. Look at that. That's awesome. It coats really, really nice. All right, we got to keep moving on here, guys. The video fills up fast. All right, those two are down. Let me grab another color. Right off camera. Here we go. Red. Red. Over chrome. Look at that. That is nice. It's smooth. It's even. This is over, uh, I don't know if this is over, just by clear red, obviously, but I painted this over, I think, over one of my shiny silvers. Uh, this might have been over Wicked? Might have been over Wicked Silver. Almost the same, look at that. All right, let's see what else we have here. This is over the Mica Silver from Tamiya. It's a much lighter color. I always compare it to the chrome. over the uh, Gaia Star Bright Brass. Hold on. Just so we know what we started with. That's the base right there. Look at that. It kind of looks... Uh, it it's quite different in person. Now you can kind of see it there, guys. It, it's much different in person. But the red has a really good pigment to it. Here's the Star Bright Brass on a leg piece. That's this on the base. Is that fantastic? Look at that. Look at that. This is really good paint. I wasn't crazy about their normal lineup. They're just their regular opaques. But this clear lineup is awesome. This is over uh, the uh, dark silver, I think, on the foot. Look at that. Now that's a whole different look. Yep, you can really see it. Over the brass. How's that, huh? This is that Iron Man red I'm always trying to figure out. That's nice. Here it is, I sprayed the back silver. Yep. That's it over the front, clear spoon. Not quite the chrome look. More opaque, but a real nice shine to it. Okay. Hold on, here it is clear. Look at that, covered nice. Let's try the white background again. It's just a good paint. No matter what we do here, it's a, it's a great paint. A lot of these look a little too similar on camera. It's hard to see. But at least you can see these. These are really noticeably, really unique in the clear. But uh, that's the red. Let's get that out of the way. Let's grab another color. Oh, let me get these off camera. Sorry, guys. I hit the camera. Hold on, guys. Let me get another color. Oh, I can't forget this. This is the... Uh, the Evo Gaia Surfacer. Look at that. That big leg piece. Look at that. That is awesome. I didn't want to forget that. All right. Hold on, guys. Right behind you. Next up is purple. Here is purple. It's one of these. <laughs> one of these is purple. Look at that. That's purple over just white. So that's it with no chrome in the background. That's it with chrome in the background. This is over the star bright brass. Well, that's really different, huh? That's different. This is it over the mica silver, mica silver. That's really different. 
This is over a uh, titanium, uh, I think titanium gold that I had on this piece. I was testing something else. I had an extra piece, so I tried it. Look at how nice it covered this piece. Here it is on the clear. This is before I found the spoons. This is over the Evo Gunmetal Primer. So you can see these. this one has definitely a, a whole range of colors, the purple. This is really nice though, over this piece. Even that's different from all of them. This is a titanium gold, I think. Really light, like a champagne gold. All right, that's purple. Let me get this out, grab another color. All right, let's go with the green. I have them on my trays, I put them in my uh, dehydrator. All right, always start with the chrome, there we go, look at that. Really nice. It's more green in person, guys, it looks bluish on camera. I hope it comes across. This is over the mica silver. This is just over the green, pla uh, just the plastic. That's it, straight on white plastic right here. Look at the difference when you put a base on it. All right, what do we have here? Gunmetal, Tamiya. What do we have here? This is the Evo Gunmetal. This is the primer gunmetal. This is gunmetal from Tamiya in the spray can. Pretty close. You can see the difference in person, but it's not dramatic, so you pick one gun metal and stick with that is what I would say you do. This is silver sprayed on the back of the plastic and I wanted to try it over the front and that's what I got. Not bad. So this is what I wanted the eyes to look like in the uh, the Gundam. The eyes of a Gundam. See that? Here it is clear. So wait, here we go. Spray's really nice clear. Pretty durable, too. I tested it off camera. It is durable. And last but not least, here it is on the Starbright Brass from Gaia. Look at that. That's the winner of the whole nut. Let's see if I can get a clip here so I can hold it up better for you guys. So much for making this uh, video quicker. Doesn't work when I go to show colors. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Fantastic. I like this lineup of paints, guys. I really do. It's a shock how much I ended up liking it. All right. Yellow is next. And then one more. We got the black. And then we're done. I'm trying to get all the pieces here. All right. That's the moto. Here's the clear. All right. Here we go. Yellow over chrome. Real nice. You can see me in the camera. Real nice, dense yellow, too. I'm kind of shocked as to how nice this yellow is. This is over Starbright Brass. That's over this. Look what we got there. That is bright. Not quite chrome bright, but it's up there. This is over the Mica Silver from uh, Tamiya. Still brighter here. This is over, I don't know what that is. Not even labeled. Must be the gunmetal. Let's check some of the pieces out. That's over this uh, E7 Chrome. Real, real nice. This is over a uh, silver, just a basic silver uh, foot I had painted. The panel lines really highlight good when I go to put in the panel lines. You almost don't even have to put panel lines in, huh? This is over that uh, sandy brown. That really, <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but that's a uh, that's pretty unique color. This is over uh, one of the other chromes. Is this over all clad? I'm wondering if it's over all clad. Look at these, these, it's just a good paint. This is over the Moto Surfacer, Moto, uh, Gaia. 
Check that out. Just stand that piece right up. That looks awesome. And that's oh wait, look at the clear. White behind it. Look at that. Nice and even, bright. That's the yellow. And the last one is the black. The problem is my videos go long because I show each version of the paint over its base and that ends up taking up all my time. I will figure out a way of getting it done quicker. This is my favorite of all of them, believe it or not. Look at it over the chrome, the chrome spoon. Is this fantastic or what? Look at that. It's my favorite one. It's just the the result was just awesome. This is over the mica silver. See, you can see the big difference. It's almost like you just painted gunmetal. This is the Moto, the Gaia. Uh, this is the Gaia Surfacer gunmetal. See, and then it it just ends up going right through it. There's the other gunmetal. I always show up to the chrome because this is the one. This is the best piece. Now here it is over the brass, star bright brass. Now we got something different. So these are my two favorites that it accomplished. Piece of dust on that. So that's over the brass. You can see the brass coming through here a bit. And right here. Chrome is still my favorite. Here it is over clear. Look at that. How nice it went over the clear. You can see right through it beautifully. Let's hold this up. Yep. Now this is good for tinted windows, huh, on your cars? You can see it started to run. It needs something to grip onto. And I think if I kept going with layers, it would have clung to it really well. And this is the last piece I had this. This was a silver colored uh, Gumpla piece I had for testing. And look how nice that came out. Fantastic. And that's the lineup. And uh, I'm quite impressed by it. I really did like it. Uh, I recommend them highly. Um, not much money, you can get the whole set. Because that is the whole set. They only have seven colors. Um, get them at uh, Gundam Pros, my buddy. Um, Walter at Gundam Pros. I will put a link below. Hold on. Gundam Pros. That's where you're going to get them. And I'll put a link below with a coupon code, 10% off. So uh, look below. Hit the link to get the Gundam Pros. And don't forget to, to copy and write down the coupon code to get... Uh, your discount and um, that's it it's a long video it went a little longer than I wanted that's for sure but uh, at least you guys get to see each color I'll put a link below for my uh, new paint shaker which I love watch the video if you haven't already on this it's a must-have piece of equipment and I recommend you buy that thinner too when you buy the set so if you buy a set in the thinner you're still gonna be in pretty cheap and um, that's it for today, guys. And I'm sorry the video did go long. I shot everything through my Badger Patriot, and it just went out great. Uh, this is terrific for spraying clears. I'll put a link below for this airbrush, too. I believe they're around 80 bucks. You can't beat the price for the quality of performance it gives you. And uh, that's it. Uh, during the week, I'm going to post another video with a bit of an update. I'm going to have a much bigger update on my personal lineup of paints that are coming out. They're almost ready to go. I'll give you the name. I'll have the logo. I'll have everything else to show you guys. And um, anyway, thanks for sticking around this long. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video. That helps quite a bit with the channel. And uh, you guys have a great weekend. I'll see you guys one more time before the holiday hits, Thanksgiving. And we'll talk to you soon. Have a great weekend.